one of the things I'd like to talk about before um, I wrap this up, uh, this section anyway, is it doesn't really depend on the actual teratogen that you're taking. So in other words, if I took something at a certain point in my pregnancy, oh my God, it's going to happen to my child. Each one of these seems to have a differential effect depending on the time frame. Is that what you're getting at with the 21st day? Well, it could be. I mean, it's, it's, it's about 20. It's not on the 21st day this happens. There's a range, right? It's just when it closes. So when it closes, and roughly in the third week. Yeah. So depending on when this particular teratogen is ingested, it can affect a different part of the body or the child. Because if the brain is forming in the first, let's say, three weeks or the first month, then anything that you take that can target that area is going to have an effect. But after the brain develops, let's say it's the limbs developing, or the eyes, or the, or the throat, um, that could have an effect later on. So depending on what you're taking and when you're taking it will have a differential effect. So you know some of these things may not have any effect if you take them at a different point in time. So the effect is unique, it may be severe. Um, they differ in how they gain access to the fetus, so whether it's across the placenta, um, or whether it's through the birth canal, through the breast milk, it will, it will vary for each one of these different kinds of uh, teratogens. And again, the dosage is going to re be related to the degree of abnormal development, right? Um, but for the most part, they say the first you know, three months are particularly sensitive because that is when the CNS and the brain are developing. Are we good? This is what I'm trying to explain to you here. If you look down here, this is the period, full term, going from one month as I go here, would not be affected, as I mentioned before. But as you get into week three up to week um, 38, or full term, down here is the greatest vulnerability in blue. Lesser vulnerability is in this orange. So right here is what's affected. So the, the heart, the eye, um, the limbs, during this period of time. but. Later on, it could be you know, the eyes, the teeth, the palate during this period in time. So it depends, again, on the interaction of the type of teratogen you're taking and the period of development of that particular structure. Um, I've often heard, too, uh, lately I've heard there's no research about the level of cortisol or stress hormone in the mother. And if she suffers severe trauma or severe stress, where there's a lot of cortisol and the adrenal glands are very, you know, really, really active. Cleft palate, right, could be the result of that. So, you know, that would again depend on when she actually took, right here. See, week nine. Over here, it might not have that effect because that's not even developing yet. So, as we are progressing, and you're taking that teratogen, it will actually affect that particular area. Is that clear? All right. So, again, I'm not going to imagine putting this on an exam and leaving all this blank. And just saying, <laughs> fill, it, fill in, blue or, or orange, right? I'm not that crazy. Um, so this is, again, more for you to put this into context of what, the, you know, the principles of how this can happen. All right.